So this is the video to show you how to use Google Drive for desktop, formerly known as Google Drive File Stream. Uh, we can use it so that you can access Premiere Pro projects, Photoshop documents, anything from the Adobe Creative Suite through your Google Drive, files stored and backed up on your Google Drive, through the operating system as normal, as if they were on your computer. So, uh, in the Google Drive area, in the browser, you already have access to, for example, your drive, anything that is shared with you, and shared drives. You might not have all three of these, in fact you won't have all three of these, you will have access to BTEC share space. And in there, this is where we store various bits and pieces that perhaps you've already accessed, for example, the TriCaster folders in the TV studio unit. Okay, There is a folder already called Netflix unit, and in there will be year 12 projects for year 12s, and year 13 projects for year 13s, and a number of different resources that you may well want to use. You will start to film soon and you will need somewhere to store your work and back it up. Also, it may well be a place where you could start to put footage to get footage off smartphones, for example, if they're taking up loads of space. So if you go into the year 12 or year 13 folder, you will have a folder already. In that folder will be uh, some subfolders, for example, footage, which is where you can store your files, music again, you might download mp3 so you will download mp3s to start using in your edit and then there will be a premiere pro project folder a project folder that i've already set up the browser doesn't understand that okay it won't open it you can download it and open it locally but that won't be the same document as uh, you would pick up if you logged onto another machine so in order to access this digital document and interact with it and use it and then resave it and pick it up elsewhere later on on another machine, we need to download Google Drive for desktop. If you are on site, all the machines already have that installed. Okay, It was recently rebranded Google Drive, but you may have seen it on the machines already as Google Drive File Stream. It's also accessible at the bottom uh, in the logo there. Okay. If you're at home, you will need to download this software yourself and it's the key between your two computers. So you'll need to go uh, to Drive to download it. I'll show you this article, which I found, which will hopefully explain it in a lot more detail for you, step by step. So if you are logged into Google, sign out, go to drive.com, uh, drive.google.com, scroll down to the bottom under downloads, and you can download it for both Mac and PC. Okay. Download, blah, 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 install, etc. Once you've installed it, there will be an area in my computer which will allow you to access your drive. Okay. It will also allow you to access team drives, shared drives. As you can see, those are the same ones that I have access to in the browser. But they are treating them as if they are folders on the computer as if you've just plugged in a hard drive or as if that folder is on the desktop. Which means now that we've got the drive stream, drive stream software or the Google Drive for desktop software installed, we can navigate through this as normal. So let's go to that same location. Now you'll see that that project document is recognized by the operating system. It knows it's a Premiere Pro project because Premiere Pro is installed on this machine. Okay. It means I can open it directly rather than having to download it in order for the operating system to recognize it. Okay. So I could open up that now and it would open up in Premiere Pro as normal. I could do some things to it. I could save it. I could ensure that it syncs. I'll tell you if it's synced there. And then I could pick that document up on another computer elsewhere. Okay, so you can also download Google Drive for your smartphone, Android and iPhone and other, which means you can actually access the same location from your phone. This is handy for recording footage from a smartphone and then putting it into the correct location in your drive. This means that once you navigate through, you can upload the file to your folder from your phone by selecting your native photo app, selecting the file, going to save or send or upload, depending on which options and settings you have, 
finding the drive app, ensuring that you are signed into your Durham Six Home Centre username. So then you can choose a folder, so you can choose exactly which location the file will be uploaded to. Navigate through as normal, find your folder. Select the footage folder and save it in that location. Once you've done that, you can press upload and you can also upload multiple files at the same time. Once that's done, the file is uploaded to your drive, backed up and saved. One, it's accessible from any computer you then want to use DriveStream with, and you can remove the file from your smartphone in order to save space.